Hey, 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 everybody. It's your lovely Lotus Blossom Lizzie, and we are going to be playing in our Woman Overboard Junk Journal today. But before I get started, I always like to invite you, if you haven't done so already, to subscribe to the channel. You can do that by hitting the subscribe button and also hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one come out. You can also check out our Facebook group, which is Facebook, which is Junk Journal Buddies over on Facebook. And the link is in the description below. And if you would like to see this video uh, in real time, then you can head over to Patreon.com where there's more exclusive videos as well. And that's Patreon.com slash Liz for a day. So I have to say I am quite enjoying working in this book and it has a lot of stuff in it already. But you know, my junk journals can never have enough stuff. <laughs> so as you saw in the beginning, I was actually doing a spot of harvesting, taking some pages out of one of my older Daphne Diaries books. And I've had that book for quite a few years and I promised myself I wasn't going to buy another one until I kind of used what was in here and read through it and got some ideas and inspiration. So the pages and the images that they have inside are so beautiful that I definitely wanted to use some of those within my junk journal also. So I kind of decided to kind of rip around this page because I like that ruggedness around the edges. And I wanted to use the poem that came along with this image also. And I still was really wasn't satisfied with the background that I had here. So I decided to do a spot of collaging. Now, you may not have the papers to do as much collaging as I do. I'm a crazy collager at this point. It's very addictive. <laughs> I love doing it. But I do have some collage packs over at the shop over at PleasantCreations.com. So you can have a diverse and a variety of different pages to do your collages with as well. And I have to say that a little bit goes a long way. What I'm using here is actually scraps. So if you have some scraps, you can uh, put those together and they make lovely backgrounds. So I'm just using things like old book pages, some atlas pages, dictionary sheets. I'm even using some index pages because y'all, I'm all about the index pages. Those are like, they're like the lone stars that nobody wants to use, but they are so beautiful to me because they have like lots of repetition in them. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to put all of these itty bitty pieces down with my regular stick glue. Nothing fantastic. You know, that's the my go to glue. If I think that it's going to stick that paper down, then that's what I'm going to use. It's just that regular old purple glue. And it does a fantastic job and it's quite inexpensive. So I would definitely recommend it. And you always want to make sure you get those, get on those edges as well. <laughs> I have to say, I had a lot of fun in this book. And I just, you know, it's like I just pick up my book sometimes and sometimes I'll have it in my bed and I'll just rifle through the pages not really rifle through the pages, but you know, I flip through the pages gingerly and just kind of look at all the things that I kind of pasted, pasted down into the book. So it's like reading a book over again and I quite enjoy it. And sometimes even when I'm finished with the junk journal, I'll still go back through the pages and I will actually, uh, Maybe put a few more things, maybe a stamp here. Maybe I'll do some journaling here, maybe some dots here. <laughs> you know, it's like a, the, a never ending book is never finished. So now I am using some washi tape and y'all know I'm on a mission with my washi tape because I got a lot of it and I still have yet to finish a roll of washi tape. It's amazing. <laughs> So I have uh, a lot. So I'm trying to use more and more. So every time I use some, I always want to mention that, that I am on a mission. So now I'm ready to put these two pieces down on the page. 
and I glued the first the um, first page down which again is a poem and I thought the poem was quite pretty and it's not something I normally do is to write you know put poems and quotes inside of my junk journal but I am thinking that maybe in the future that would be something I would like to do more of now this picture was it was a bit wide and it wouldn't fit into the book so I had to be kind of creative and to try to get it in here so what I did was as you can see I cut it a few times but I still made sure I put the pieces in order so you know it also lets that background kind of come through which again that page is actually an index page and I love the repetitiousness of the orange I mean of the yellow and the white stripes so to speak they're, they're actually columns but they still kind of um, come out quite nicely and I love the way this came out you never know exactly how your pages are going to come out until you know your page says okay I'm finished I'm done so now I took out my gold uniball pen and of course I decided to um, just kind of give things a little bit of a frame and I also wrote over the title of the poem which is flying but yeah I didn't really I didn't really like that what I did um, it was white and I, I tried to like put the gold on there and I kind of felt like <sighs> now I can't really see what the title says so I took out my white uniball pen and voila now I can see the title again so that helped out a lot now to the untrained eye you may not be able to see it but stick around to the end and you'll see some close-up shots of all these little things that I am doing because sometimes you can't see the little details and it's all about the details now this is uh, some deli paper that I had and I don't know what I was doing with this deli paper I, I just did some stamping on it and I love the texture that it made I actually balled the paper up and then I did some stamping on it and I just used my stick glue here and I just put it down and it made like a marvelous texture on the page so if you can't find any deli paper in your area I actually put some up at, at pleasantcreations.com so you can grab some there and I got it up for a really reasonable price so you can get lots of sheets so you can do this technique as well you can, technically you can make your own paper and that's nice now this little piece of paper here was from a ledger and I did some sewing around it and a stamp and I think we did that together here over on the channel and I made some journal spots and so I had some of these done ahead of time so all I had to do was kind of grab them out of my stash and then I could just do my journaling and then just glue it down y'all look at all that purple glue I'm using <laughs> probably way more glue than I needed but you know what it's okay I don't have to worry about anything coming up on my pages it, it's just nice so the next thing I did was I decided to do a spot of journal I did a lot of journaling in the session so I decided to do some journaling on this um, paper as well and this, this is a journal fold out is what I call it and I decided to use my paper mate uh, flares on this which I haven't really not this is not a flare um yeah I, I can't think of what the the paper mate is it a flare no it's not a flare uh ink joy <laughs> it's the paper mate ink joy I decided to use my ink joys this time and um just on these nice little pieces that I sewed around y'all you can just zhuzh up any page with sewing around a, a scrap piece of paper it doesn't make a difference like what it looked like before you put the sewing on it once you put the sewing on it is absolutely beautiful so I switched pens just because I wanted a different color and I had that color with my sharpies because you know my sharpies are my go-to's and I love them I love the, the way that they write and y'all this paper right here was actually a piece of a calendar and I think I used it as some pages inside of a journal and I had some scraps left over and I just like the way the 
calendars look and now is a great time to pick up some calendars as well. It's the beginning of the year and so there's ca- there's an abundance of calendars especially at the dollar store wink wink <laughs> if you have a dollar store in your area. So I love using the calendars as pages and as journal spots. So now I have another journal spot here and I did this one the same way. I just cut a piece of ledger. I sewed around it with one of my beautiful stitches that the Whippersnapper does. And if you don't know who the Whippersnapper is, the Whippersnapper is my SQ9185 brother sewing machine and it has lots of beautiful stitches on it. And you can see that just zhuzh that page right up. And I know you all are wondering, what are you doing with those page flags? <laughs> well, I decided as I'm doing things on the pages to put a page flag there so I could go back and take pictures. Instead of like rifling through the, I always say rifling, instead of gingerly going through the book <laughs> and figuring out which pages I worked on for that day or played in or created on, because work is such a harsh word, I decided to uh, use the page flags instead. So here I am using some True Trash, and it is a packet packaging from a Tofurky, um, a Tofurky box. I've already eaten the uh, cuts out of there. I guess you can still call them cold cuts, and they're very good. I love them, and I eat a predominantly vegan and vegetarian diet. And so, but I love the way that box looked, and I wanted to use it in my journal. So. That, you know, the kitchen is just a fantastic place to um, find things to put into your junk journal because it's, there's always something you can talk about when it comes to food. Food is social without people even being in the room. <laughs> and they make such beautiful packaging and it just all gets thrown in the trash. And I think a great way to recycle those pages and just, you know, have a good time with them or should, not pages, but trash is to just cut it up and put it in your books, you know, just let the pages kind of speak to you. And so that's what I did here. And yes... I know I am using a lot of tape <laughs> and I'm also using my Cricut weeder to get all of the tape up because, you know, I always say it, use tools for tools and don't use your nails for tools. And, you will you know, my nails, they still break sometimes, but uh, they break a lot less when I don't use them for tools because, you know. That one time when you break your nail and you say to yourself, I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. That's when, you know, you realize, yeah, I should have used tools for tools and not my nails. So, I, you know, I tried to use like every little, every little bit of this box because I just, I just loved it. I, I think I was really digging the color of the box. It was, it's a brown color, but I don't know. The design was just fantastic. And that's not why I picked it up to eat it, though. But <laughs> I just like the design of it. And so you can see even on that back part where the nutrition nutritional part is at, I decided to take a piece off of that piece, off of that part as well and put it on here. So I'm actually making some trash artwork from something that is a vegan-esque you know, and I decided to keep the other pieces of the box because I can use those for tags uh, somewhere down the road. You never know when you're going to see those again. So I love how this came out. It, this I'm, I'm especially fond of this page because it really reflects my personality. Because, you know, the things you they, they say you are what you eat, I, you know, I believe that, <laughs> especially when I look at something like this. So now I'm just looking back through my little pieces that I prepared ahead of time to make journal spots. And I got this Rolodex card out that I did some sewing around as well. And I'm just using some vintage photo around the edges to give it, you know, just smooch it up a little bit. Actually, I think that was antique linen. And now I'm just going to do some more journaling on this as well. And of course, I'm using I'm I'm using my go-to pens, my Sharpie pens, 
and I'm gonna do a spot of journaling. Yeah, when I look back at the picture of this, I'm like, oh, this is like so sloppy. <laughs> but that's just the way I write. I, you know, I've tried to make my writing a little bit better, but it just hasn't worked out for me. So I hope you all have enjoyed uh, this. And again, I'm going to show you some pictures in a moment, so don't leave. I would love to know what your favorite part of this playtime was. And you can leave that down in the comments as well. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down. Of course, I'm just slathering that glue on because that's what I do. Remember, that's all you need is some glue and some trash and you can make some really beautiful stuff. So again, you can subscribe below if you haven't subscribed already. Hit the notification button so that you'll be notified when more videos like this one come out. You can head over to PleasantCreations.com and pick yourself up a journal and some journaling supplies. We got digital kits over there as well. And you can see more exclusive types of videos like this over at Patreon.com slash Liz for a day. So with that, I'm going to say love, peace, and hair grease. From your sweet Lotus Blossom and lovable Lizzie, have a fantabulous day and enjoy life.